name's Jordan Kurtzer and I'm studying periodically harvested marine closures in Fiji. I grew up in a small town south of Perth called Albany and spent uh, most of my time fishing, diving and surfing and sort of really loved the marine environment. And in particular with fishing, um, I sort of came up with a problem as in I loved the marine life and, and wanted everyone to be able to enjoy the same experiences, yet I still love fishing. So that was sort of where I came up with my study and I don't believe that we should stop people fishing and I love fishing myself. So that's why I thought if we can come up with strategies that we can protect fish and still fishing, which is things like marine reserves, then and that'd be a really great way uh, to achieve sort of my goals. I came to work in Fiji because uh, I did an honours project in there, got the opportunity to travel over to Fiji and looked at uh, some fish inside and outside of the marine reserves and sort of fell in love with the place and loved the people and the, the reefs and stuff like that. So I thought I'd try and set up a PhD project over there. One of the best parts of my PhD is just getting to know these local people and, and having fun with them. Over in Fiji, they've got a lot of these marine reserves which they actually open up to a harvest, which are called periodically harvested marine closures or tambourias. They're actually um, traditionally used to use these PHCs or tambus um, before Western style uh, management strategies came along. So it's quite a yeah, historical practice that they've carried on for a long time over there. So what they used to do is when a chief passed away or something, they'd set an area of reef aside um, for protection. And after a certain period of time, they'd, they'd open that up to fishing again. So far, the ones that we've found to be successful in sort of by having increased number of fish within their boundaries were the ones that were closed for the longer period of time. So the ones that were closed for five years and then when they're opened, uh, not fished too intensively. It's quite different here in Western Australia because we're not as reliant on seafood um, to survive basically, which a lot of the villages in Fiji are heavily reliant on their fish assemblages to survive. But marine reserves in general are really important um, for a number of reasons that people don't normally think of. Without setting these areas aside and protect, protecting them from human influence, we have no way of determining what the human impacts are. We don't know what's going to happen with global warming and all these things. So if we set these areas aside, we can uh, separate the impacts of human influence versus climate change and things like that.